What's up all you cool ghouls and friendly fiends and welcome to the House of the Unusual. I'm Joe Pavlansky from Crypt of Classics and today we have an unboxing video for you guys today. I was sent a very special package from the House of the Unusable from Eddie Guevara and he told me that I cannot open this package until I do a video. So I got my, my buddy Frank back there on the Doritos and Pepsi just looking over my shoulder waiting for me to to see what's in here so hopefully there's some special stuff in here maybe a new car or a bowling alley I don't know we'll see so let me grab my exacto knife and we're gonna carefully open this up I don't want to cut anything in there I think the last time he sent me a box like this it was empty so hopefully this one's not just filled with paper mache or rocks I feel like Charlie Brown if I get some rocks, so we'll see. You guys are my witness. If this is empty, you know from House of the Unusable. Oh, it does feel like there might be something in here. Let me grab. There's something in here. I'm going to set this aside. There's something on the bottom here. So, the box. I don't know what this is. I guess we'll find out together. So, let's see. This is a, looks like an ashtray from Kuala Lua Lampor, Malaysia. I hope I'm saying that right. Very cool. Throw my, uh, I could use this when I'm having a cigar maybe. I don't know much about this. I'm going to have to ask Eddie about it and see what's up with it. But that looks very cool. So, thank you for that. Well, let's see what's in this black bag. It's wrapped up pretty good here oh I'll get my exacto knife I don't want to really cut too much into this because I'm not sure what it is all right I got a little bit of it open so let's see what we got here oh man this is this is packaged pretty good you did a wonderful go job, Mr. Uh, Guevara, in packaging this up. I'm trying to be extra careful with it because you just never know. I don't have the steadiest hands. They told me that's why I couldn't become a surgeon. Although I do work in the basement, putting together dead bodies, making... Never mind about that. Don't a little bit too much. Never mind. Forget that. Forget that was on there. I have to make sure Eddie edits that out. I can't get out to the public. Whoa! What do we got here? We have a double feature movie, Night of the Living Dead, Carnival of Souls. Two great classic movies. We might have to cover one of these on the Crypt of Classics. Uh, segment of the House of the Unusual podcast. If you guys don't know, every podcast that comes out every week, we do a segment called Crypt of Classics where we cover a classic horror or sci fi movie. So, yeah, we might have to cover this. Maybe Carnival of Souls. Uh, that's a great movie if nobody's ever seen it, but maybe we'll cover one of these uh, during the Crypt of Classics segment. Stay tuned for that. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Put down my knife before I stab somebody. Dun -dun. Let's see, what is this? Uh oh. I see something in here, I think is. I got this packaged up pretty well. Uh, I, I do see an image of a vampire in Dracula so far. Everyone knows I'm a huge Dracula and Bela Lugosi fan. Dracula's that my man. That's the one. And I think on the back here I'm seeing something. I think I know what it is. I don't want to jump to conclusions though. So I'm definitely after. Oh yeah. So let's take a look at. You know what? We're gonna touch that last because that's very cool. But what do we have here? Is well, I don't want to rip it out. Did a good job packaging this stuff. <laughs> All 
Revenge of Dracula magazine. Oh, dude, look at that. Hold on. Let me get it out of this plastic so it doesn't... There we go. There it is. The man. Very cool magazine all about vampires. Oh, I could dig it. This might have to be some reading for, ton for tonight. Check that out. Best there ever was. Not even arguably. You can't argue it. He's the best there ever was. You can't argue. If you argue, I, I don't want to hear your argument. There are some other good people that portrayed vampires, but nobody that compared to Legacy. Whenever you talk about the quintessential vampire and everyone makes, I want to suck your blood. All came from, all came from right there, buddy. Came from Legacy. Very cool. This came out in, this is an eerie publication. Came out in 1976. Very, very awesome. I don't, well, it's, Copyrighted 76, the cover is winner of 77. I don't think I have this magazine. I'll have to check, but I definitely am going to, to read some of the articles in here, if not cover to cover. So this, I know, port goes right into this right here, and this is one of my... I've been looking for these for this for a long, long time. So what it was, and I'm going to see, before I, I show you guys this, I'm going to try to find the ad. I believe I have Mail Order Mysteries by Kirk Damaris, our very own Eddie Guevara. He put in a ton of photos for this, so a majority of the stuff in here is his photos. And if you head over to houseoftheunusual.com, you go over to the forum and you type in there somewhere, Eddie, what, what photos were yours in Mail Order Mysteries? And he'd be more than happy to talk with you about which photos were his. And the hit, I mean, phenomenal. I mean, he knows all of them and he knows everything about them. But I do believe it was in here. Yes, here it is. So this is Genuine Soil from Dracula's Castle. And if you're a fan of old comic books... Uh, famous monsters you guys have definitely seen this advertisement in there so i've been looking for this one for years at a good price complete you know in good shape yada yada all that good stuff that us collectors look for but this is the original ad and this is the original item so first off we have the certificate of authenticity this is number Four five one one of five thousand, uh, signed by James Warren. Certificate of authenticity. Some say, you know, ah, he just took that soil out of his backyard. Nah, -uh, nah. Certificate of authenticity, pal. This is straight from Transylvania. And then here is the necklace with actual vampire dirt from Transylvania. Check that out. Oh well, it doesn't even man. I just want to. I just. I have to. I have to put this on. So you guys are going to watch me put this on, and wear it with pride. Oh yeah, yeah, buddy, check that out. Woo! Goes with the certificate of authenticity. The Dracula. My man Eddie came through, man. Thank you so much. I. I don't know if I'll ever take this off. I mean, obviously I have to because I'll end up getting it ruined. And I don't think this is gold. So I'll have a nice little green ring around my neck. But it could be worth it, man. This is so cool. I tell you what, I, I may just wear it to Monster Bash this year. So Monster Bash in October, the week weekend before Halloween. I, I think I'm going to have to wear it there. You know what? In the comments, let me let me know what you guys think. Should I wear this? To Monster Bash this year, the weekend before Halloween, or should I just hang it up with the rest of my collectibles and never wear it? Let me know down in the comments what you think, and hey, majority's going to win. If a majority of you say, hey, yeah, wear it with pride, I'm going to wear it. majority of you say, no, 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 it's too precious of an item, and you got the certificate of authenticity, you got to put it away, then, you know, then that's what I'll have to do, so... 
Let me know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button down there. It's somewhere going to be down there. Like this video, man. I, I don't do many videos. I'm going to start doing more. You know, I'm, I'm still an amateur on this stuff, man. But it is fun, especially going through this stuff and, you know, talking about old movies and stuff like that. And I, I, I don't know about this ashtray yet. I got to ask him. But, man, I tell you what, I could. I am a uh, avid cigar smoker, so I may have to use this when I'm, I'm smoking a, a cigar but i'm gonna find out a little bit more about this from eddie and we may talk about it on a future podcast so definitely stay tuned for that and if you guys aren't aware we have a podcast that comes out every thursday morning around midnight eastern time and it's weekly we never miss a week we try not to miss one at least uh so check it out man it's just a round table of a bunch of us talking about collectibles movies magazines Tons of mail order mystery stuff, man, because Eddie is the sensei, the guru, the maestro of mail order mysteries. Man, we have the awesome Chuck Caputo. Chuck also sent me some cool stuff here the other week. Pittsburgh Magic Story. Chuck Caputo, man, he got his own line of magic coming out exclusively through the House of the Unusual. So check that out. We're always talking about it on our podcast. Uh, we'll have some videos up of it, and it's always on our forum. A lot of cool stuff coming our way, man. So, you know, check out all that stuff. You got to go see it, man. It's good stuff. And before every podcast, we always give a shout-out to all of our friends. You know, Todd over at the Sea Monkeys, uh, Ski over at Stupid Comics Magazine, and everybody else that we could fit in there, man. So check that out. Remember to go to houseoftheunusual.com. We have a free forum there. And you can go communicate with some people. If you want to be on our podcast, man, let us know. Let us know on the forum. And you don't have to be an expert in anything or whatever. You don't have to be the sensei of mail order mysteries. You know, you just have to like to talk about this stuff. You know, if you're a collector, a movie lover, dude, we want to hear from you. So go ahead and check us out. So certificate of authenticity. Woohoo, buddy. Thank you, Eddie, for the package, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So that's all I got for today, so don't forget, let me know what you guys think. Should I wear this or not? Let me know down below. Peace out, buddies.